Hey, one of the things I do is review kayaks. And the kayaks I've been reviewing are the Uru Bay. Just seemed like a natural fit for the, uh, for the trailer. Uh, and the style of camping I do. Um, you know, the Uru's fold up. You don't have to keep them on the roof of your car if security's a concern or something like that. You go out to dinner, you got your boat up on top of your car, you hope it's still there when you get back, at least around here. So, um, I started off at the bay. I think that's a 12-foot kayak. I've owned a lot of kayaks. I've owned over a dozen kayaks, folding kayaks and rigid kayaks. So, uh, when I went to the folding, uh, when I went to this teardrop trailer, I was considering a folding kayak, and I, the Uru came out, exoskeleton kayak, just great, you know? So it seemed like a perfect fit, so I bought two of those, and I used them for a while. And they were fun. Uh, but when they came out with the Coast XT, a 16-foot touring kayak, well, now they were really talking my kind of uh, kayak, because that's, you know, loaded up with gear. I actually could camp with the 12-foot bay. I could do overnighters and stuff, but the coast opened up like a week-long trip because um, of the storage and uh, other capabilities. So I've got two of those. Now, that's a lot of boats. Uh, I got rid of the two bays. I sold those. A guy in New York City bought one. He lived in an apartment. He couldn't have a kayak, and he was very happy to have the bay. He could go out into the Hudson River <laughs> with that kayak. So, a little windy here. Um, so when the coast came out, I jumped on that, and then my reviews were seen by somebody at Oru, and they asked me if I wanted to review this kayak, the uh, the Haven. The Haven's a two-seater, and that's uh, an interesting concept for me. I took a liking to it right away, the concept, because when I go camping with my teardrop trailer, my car is pretty stuffed. And I have no problem fitting one kayak in there, but two is a bit of a problem. I can get them in there, but I have to make some sacrifices on what I'm taking, and I hate to do that. So this boat is a little bit bigger. The size is a little bit bigger when it's folded, but as a two-seater, it's one less kayak for two people. And you can use it alone. So I've got a lot of questions. I just got this. It just arrived. Uru sent it to me for review. Uh, I'm going to give an unbiased review. I, I have a lot of kayak experience. I've had, I started off with 12, with uh, eight foot plastic boats. Uh, I loved them. They were fun. I took them out in the Hudson. I mean, I took them places you probably shouldn't go with them. I've had uh, larger kayaks, you know, 12 footers. Uh, my last sea kayak was a 15 footer, 15 and a half foot sea yak. Very nice kayak. Those are rigid kayaks. So I needed something that folded. I have had a folding kayak. I had a skin and bones one, skin and frame. It was had the Hypalon floor and the canvas decking, uh, sort of like a, uh, well, sort of like a Klepper, or uh, I forget the other one, but there's a couple of those around. So I'm familiar with those. One of the weaknesses with those boats, not a weakness, one of the features with those boats is if you have the boat loaded, when you land, it's not a rigid plastic kayak. When you land, uh, up around here it's pretty rocky. When you hit rocks on the shore when you're docking, it'll abrade the bottom. It's got your body weight in there between the frame and the skin pressing on it. So I learned pretty quickly, you know, I didn't damage the boat, but I could see it was abrading, and I learned to take care of my gear. It's no different with these. You need to take care of these kayaks. You can't be an imbecile and expect it to last or, you know, uh, abuse it and expect it to, uh, uh, to keep begging for more. It's just not that kind of relationship. You gotta treat it good. So let's look at this boat. Uh, here it is. It's not light. It weighs about 40 something pounds, maybe 45. Uh, you can definitely fit it in the car, no problem. This is the maiden voyage. This is the first time I've had it out in the water and it really is a great boat. Um, Oru sent me this boat because I've done some reviews and they sent me this boat to review. And along with that, they made me a, uh, an affiliate. And as an affiliate, I get a, uh, a discount code which is in the comments below. 
And if you click that, you get a 10% discount on an order over $1,000. And I do profit from that, but you, you get the benefits. Uh, I, get, I get some money, I don't even know what it is, but uh, you know, that's very nice. And I'm just happy to get the boat and happy to review it. And it is quite a boat, a boat. So uh, stay tuned for more in this boat. There it is. I spared you the building of it. I would say it took me about an hour to build this the first time. Uh, that's without reading the instructions. I had to refer to the instructions. I'm familiar with Uru's design. This is a bit different than what I'm used to, but you know, I was able to figure out most of it. I measured it. It's 16 feet, two inches long. That's good for me. Uh, that's how long my coast is. This is a two seater. And I expect it to go pretty fast in the water. They did a lot of things right. Here's the front seat. You have a trapeze leg foot support, fully adjustable, uh, padded seat like on the coast. The coast seat is pretty comfortable and this is uh, the same type of seat. Um, I overlooked a few things like this seat, the seat back, it locks into the floor. I missed that it locked and I'm like, geez, this is loose. You know, that's not too good, but I was just wrong. This, this thing slides forward and it locks in. So, you know, little details I probably could have gotten. There's a little reinforcing bar to keep it shape. Um, back seat, plenty roomy. You have again, another trapeze leg uh, foot rest here. Um, there's, you know, they're tensioned. You just tighten these straps on the sides and it will, uh, here, I'll tighten the strap here. And it, and it makes them uh, the right length for your foot. Um, you have the bulkhead back here. I would say two people, one tent, two sleeping bags. Uh, I could get all my gear in here, a fly. Um, I could do a weekend with this kayak, no problem. You know, packing practically. Uh, I'll try and, you know, stuff some things in here in the future and, uh, and you know, and show it a little better. But I'm all excited, I just got the thing. <laughs> so let's have a seat in here. Fully adjustable. Uh, so my legs, are out too far and my seat back is not tight so let me tighten the seat back and now i'm going to adjust for the legs i'm going to just pull these straps here and get it so i have a nice bend in my knee there we go that's a little bit a little better air uh comfortable i can move it around you know it's nice if you're kicked back and you're relaxing you can just stretch out in here uh, front seat very similar let me get in the front Okay, the front was already adjusted. Uh, got my knees on here. Again, just another cockpit adjustment strap here. And there's one for the backrest also. If you want a more forward or vertical posi seat position, you can adjust this. And if you're tired of being in that position, you can stretch your legs out. If your legs are getting numb or something. So these, this trapeze just attaches with a little S hook here. Let's see if I can get it off. Yeah. It just, it just, they're color coded. They're stitching on here. That matches it. I just take it off and I could lower the trapeze, so to speak, and have room in the cockpit if I do the other side. Here, I'll do that side too. So now the trapeze is uh, free floating and uh, my, I have room in here to do what I want. And, uh, this kayak has some sort of a rail system they talk about where you can get, you know, fishing gear and stuff and put it on here, cup holders, you know, for whatever you've got. I, I'm, not, I'm unfamiliar with that. But, uh, so this is the two seat configuration. Uh, let me pick this baby up and see how heavy it is. It's not bad lifting. It's about 45 pounds, I'm guessing. A little easier. Everything's color coded. There are drawings like these match the floorboards. These, these are empty and these are filled. So you just line them up the same way on Haven and they, uh, they lock together. Uh, that's how the floorboards go in. Um, these boats tend to break in. The more you use them, the easier they go together. And uh, the seams are very stiff right now on this one because it's brand new. So let's take a look at the business end, right? All this is all glitzy. Everybody loves the deck of kayaks. It's interesting. This is uh, this boat, right? Kayaks are one of the oldest designs in boats. Uh, Greenland kayaks, you know, they go way back. 
And look at this thing. It's a new kayak with the completely latest materials and it, uh, it has the latest technology applied to it to achieve the same thing. It's great. I guess, uh, okay, so the business end of a kayak is the under part. And this is where the work goes on. Uh, how the boat glides through the water, how it handles, how it uh, floats. Um, when you rock a boat, you get primary and secondary stability. And this is really what you want to pay attention to when you buy a boat. Now this is a folding boat, right? There's some compromises on a folding boat. But uh, Oro does a good job on those, from what I can tell. Uh, quick look here. Now I'm not an expert. People who are more knowledgeable will challenge me. But what I would say is, fairly flat bottom, a little secondary stability here, a right? little more stability there, flat spots, and then you can probably lean this over pretty far, you're going to hit some more of this edge here, it's going to be a big stable point when you lean it. I don't want to go into this too much because I should probably do it on the water, but I want you to have a look at the bottom of the boat. It has a lot of chines, which are angles, and to an experienced kayaker, they're going to want to look at this and see it and understand it. I hope this is visible in the video uh, because this is what's important on a kayak. And uh, my, uh, my impression here is great boat on the rivers and lakes, bays, stuff like that. You're going to have a real blast with this boat. Uh, surf? You could take it out there, but you're going to have to contend with water getting in here if it breaks over your deck. So the whole idea of a closed cockpit on a regular kayak is that they, um, they'll shed the water when it starts coming in. I'm going to take this apart. I do want to build it once in the backyard and have a look at it, and I'm pretty pleased. I plan on having some fun. Again, the primary advantage for me is if I go somewhere, I take one boat for two people. Now, this boat can be configured for one person. You uh, take this, I had it upside down, this came out. You uh, take this and you move it more forward. You move the seat more forward and you move around one of the braces and you reconfigure it a little bit. The, the straps are all color coded for doing that and it becomes a one person kayak. So I can't wait to experiment with this on the water. Okay, this is my friend Sasha who's been helping me put the boat together. Um, what did you think of the boat? Good. So to get in, you always put your weight on the edges of the kayak, always. Uh, that way, the boat won't flip out from under you. So always support your weight on the edge of the kayak. So we're in uh, two paddler mode. I'm in here alone now just to check out. This is the first, the first paddle. First time in the boat. And primary stability. It's very resistive. It's very flat bottom. Now I'm going to lean her over. For secondary stability. And you can lean it quite far on secondary stability. So it seems pretty stable for flat water, that's for sure. But, you know, okay, kayak girl is getting in. Let's see if we flip over. Okay, she's in. Her center of gravity is seated. Okay, off we go. Okay, so the Oru paddle uh, has a flip lever. It's an adjustable paddle. You flip up this lever and you can move this in or out. And I have to tell you, it's a great paddle. Um, it's uh, a big improvement over the old Oru paddle, which had a twist lock here. This one's a little more convenient and it has a couple of sections, so it folds down to the size of this end piece here. Uh, it's a nice touring paddle. Uh, it's fairly lightweight. My observation is paddling that you, uh, you have to keep your arms up a little bit because it's kind of a wide kayak. Not a problem, but uh, it's extremely stable, very stable, uh, with two paddlers in it. And it's a beautiful day here, so we're going to uh, do some more paddling. Let's 
go out by the dead trees out there on your left. No. All right. Okay. How do you like the boat? I like the boat. You like the boat. What do you like about the boat? Okay. Well, we're all in the same boat together. Yeah. Okay. So there's plenty of room for the feet here. I can stretch out quite a bit. And there's a room up front for a paddler. Could you fit a dog up there? Um, a small dog. Oh, like a beagle? Um, yeah. Not a Labrador. Okay, but in single mode, I could fit a Labrador up there. It's just a beautiful day. A lot of kayakers out. Or, uh, it's a nice breeze. All right, stop paddling for a minute. I want to see if the boat weathercocks. Uh, weathercocking should steer you into the wind. And the wind is coming from my right. Let's just see what it does. No, it doesn't weathercock. It's steering me. <laughs> it's steering me downwind, which is usually what you don't want. Okay. All right. Okay, come on, I'm paddling like crazy back here. You're not paddling. Just, I'm kidding. I'm not paddling here. I'll cut it out. Brent Hilda. And how's your paddle? Your adjustable paddle. You had a very short paddle before. Is this one all the way together? Yep, I put it, I decided that I would start by putting it all the way together. All right, and how is that? So it's good for short people. How tall are you? I am 5'3". 5'3", and it's good good for you. Okay, and you had a pretty excessively short paddle, so. A child's paddle. Child's paddle. Now you have a... Because the blades were small, and that way I didn't have to take too much work. Yeah, but well now you have an adult paddle. Okay. All right, so I've got the trapeze adjusted i could tighten it up if i want to spread my legs a little more my knees into the gunnels i can uh spread that and that'll keep it out so it's very comfortable i have to say this is the most comfortable of my kayaks i have the coast oru coast and uh while it's comfortable it's not as comfortable as this there's plenty of room to move around here we're heading out to the dead trees Beautiful sunny day with great clouds. So the seat back is totally adjustable. You can raise it and lower it. And it has these tensioning straps on the side right here to, uh, to tension it. And with that, you can uh, get your vertical position. And I'm gonna actually tighten mine a little more for more power when I'm paddling. Yeah, now when I paddle, I can press in with my feet. And my uh, my back. Okay. Go out by the dead trees out there on your left. No.
can't get over how perfect the day is. It is a perfect day. This strap is a tensioner which holds the seat back up. And I had a situation where this was slipping. So what I did to prevent that from slipping when I leaned back on the seat, I just grabbed the strap and push it down with my thumb to kind of jam it a little bit. And uh, that way it no longer slips. It's like really easy to do. And uh, you don't have to worry. And then if I, you know, if I want to adjust it again, I can just pull this up. See how it's folded there? That's what prevents the slip. And uh, my first mod on this kayak. Fast, I har, har, har. Okay, and you have uh, outriggers for when you're fishing. And, and you have this. a... Depth finder, is that what that is? That's a depth finder, yeah. Depth. Fish finder, depth finder. Ooh, there's the thing, hey, cool. Cool. Way cool. Oh, I, oh, <laughs> flipper. Er, er. I er. can get the thing up about four and a half knots easy. That's good, well, what was that in miles an hour? <coughs> it's probably three miles an hour. No, it's more than that. Yeah. yeah. No, I can get this knots, to. Knots is a little less, right? So it's no, it's good. more, knots is more. What are you, knots? <laughs> <laughs> Knots or more? I was a fireman in the Navy, so I don't... Our, what's port and what's starboard? Port is left, starboard's right. Why? That I couldn't tell you. <laughs> the easy way to remember is port is short. So port is left, L-E-F-T. Starboard is right, R-I-G-H-T. Yeah. And red, red is short. Green is longer, right? So yeah. there you go. There, that's now, that's my lesson of the day. Okay. Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Very nice. This is my friend Slava, and uh, he has a inflatable paddleboard, and this thing packs down to fit into a backpack. Yep. And it, uh, it how is it uh, on the water? Like, is it susceptible to wind? Uh, it has its limitations. As opposed to a rigid board? Yeah. Yeah. You certainly have to be um, a little more trained, I guess. Uh huh. Your, your higher your skill costs. level. Very good. All right. Yeah, good. Okay. This is the uh, single paddler position. I've got the, uh, the leg braces. Ah, it tracks pretty straight. I'm impressed. Again, this boat doesn't fail to. It, uh, it tracks very straight, you know, for a boat like this. It's funny, you can see the water line up in front through the kayak. You can see the water rippling. But this is pretty good. It goes pretty fast too. I don't have my GPS with me, too bad. I could have uh, gotten a uh, speed reading. Okay, let me try and turn it, lean it. It maneuvers really easily, real easily. You can pivot on the side to turn, no problem. It's very enjoyable to paddle alone. I'm impressed for <laughs> and I'm surprised. I didn't expect this. I'm pleasantly surprised. It's got just the right blend of tracking straight and, uh, and maneuverability. Uh, for a 16-foot boat, it handles really easily. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, you got the whole boat in, Valerie? Okay, I'm going to try and... Uh, I'm going to start leaning in a little bit. Okay. Secondary stability. And that's final stability in my opinion. Uh, the water is almost at the line of this, uh, this, this carve here. So uh, we try it again on this side. Yeah, it leans pretty well. And it's very stable, very stable. So let me try and turn it.
Handling good. Handling real good. Let's get me going away. Wow. <laughs> it's better alone than with two. I mean, two, you go pretty good, but it's really maneuverable alone. Quite impressed. All right.